Hey everybody, it's Dustin Briley with Briley Brothers. Today we are in Tempe, Arizona, and I got a little bit of a quirky property today. So I want you to remember that garage door, and I'm going to show you what's kind of going on here momentarily. This property is four beds, two baths, 1,967 square feet. It was built in 1978, and it's listed at $600,000. If you enjoy today's video, please hit that subscribe button so we can keep these videos coming at you. And if you want to be notified every time a video comes out, hit the notification bell. Okay, let's go check out this house. So immediately when you walk in, you're going to notice off to the right that there is a sunken living room, which is dates the property, obviously. You do have plantation shutters. And then a little bit of a see-through, pass-through, open concept, but not entirely. Here's a view of the other direction. You got eight foot ceilings throughout, seven foot ceilings in some of the hallways. Here's the first bathroom. You can see the tile. Bedroom number one. It's a nice size bedroom. Bedroom number two, a little smaller. And then bedroom number three. This bedroom, the window opens to this covered uh, carport thing on the side of the house. So it gets a little bit of light from that skylight. We'll check that out when we get out. There's not a lot of natural light in this bedroom. And then here's the primary bedroom. This is obviously the biggest of all of them. That side is also to that carport type thing. It's not really a carport, but we'll just refer to it as a carport. Here's the walk-in closet, which is actually pretty nice. Primary bedroom opens up to the uh, backyard as well. Definitely has a, you know, dated feel, which is a combination of the ceiling height, the sunken living room. You know, they did put new carpet in there, which is nice. These cabinets are nice, but the interesting part is they don't match these cabinets. I do, this is a beautiful view of the pool. So I love the fact that it's just windows abound looking into the backyard. The cabinets and the appliance package is very nice. Here's some skylights. And then we have another sunken living room over here. So this would probably be your main living room, I would think, since it's off the kitchen and off the backyard. Fireplace. And then this hooks into the laundry area. A pantry, nice size pantry. And this is what I was uh, telling you guys to remember. This is the garage. So they actually converted the garage Kind of, right? Like they closed the garage door in and they put in some different lights. It looks like they might have been using it for a business of some sorts. I'm just going by some of these cabinets over here are labeled. So I think it might have been used as a business possibly. Side access to the backyard over here.
get a little better view of this. So that's T111, that's wood. It's strange that they used that right there. Pretty cool wall. This is T111 as well. Huh, so this could have been, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it could have been outside, but maybe the garage went this deep. I'm not sure what exactly they have going on here. Look at all the lights I just, just kind of noticed. A lot of lights. Okay, now out here, you notice there's a tree growing out of the fire pit. Just kind of funny. <laughs> Here's the heating and cooling unit over here. This has been replaced. This is not original, so that's great. There's that uh, side entrance into the garage that was converted, and there's a side gate to access it. Some of the wood is going to need painted before it gets in too much uh, worse condition. Giant covered patio. They have turf under here. Looks like there is solar on this property. This is huge. So plenty of space. The pool equipment's inside there. Pool is going to need probably replastered and just some routine maintenance. You can tell it's, you know, it's toward the end of its life for sure, but it's a great shape and a great size pool. There's going to be alley access right there, which is common in Phoenix and Tempe. The uh, cool decking has been kind of repaired, but not really. That's going to need to be addressed at some point before it all flakes off. Okay, now this is interesting. So that's the alley. So they made some type of makeshift little shop garage thing. It's kind of cool. I don't know how much longer it's gonna last, but um, it's kind of neat. And then you have, it keeps going back. So, I don't know what the heck. Maybe they were using it to store stuff for a business or something. So there's that one bedroom. And here's the skylight thing. Yeah, very, very hodgepodge is how I would describe it. But uh, if you need a lot of storage space, covered storage space, this could be the home for you. Well, that's the house. If you want more information on this property down in the description, I will link to the listing. If you want to see this or any other property, or if you're interested in selling, my brother and I are licensed realtors in the state of Arizona. We're in the top 1%. We would love to help you buy or sell your next property. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. Talk to you later.